I'm Scott L. Miller. This is Sam IT, and today we're going to talk about remote access and support tools for the SMB. Now, this is one that is a little bit different than most of my videos, uh, but I want to talk about this category of tooling that uh, people who work in the MSP space have a tendency to use all the time, and people who work in traditional IT often never even look at or think about. But it's actually really important, and I think a lot more people should be looking at it. Now, of course, a lot of people do look at it who work in... So if you're in regular IT and you use these tools all the time and you think I'm an idiot for thinking no one does, just move on by, right? A lot of people don't think about this, so trust me. Uh, but we're talking about tools like ConnectWise, Screen Connect, LogMeIn, um, Splashtop, uh, Mesh Central. This category of tools can be super beneficial. And the reason that they're super cool compared to what we traditionally use for support, things like uh, Remote Desktop Protocol, RDP, uh, in Windows, or VNC or X Windows in the Unix world, NX uh, from No Machine, um, things like that. Those are all direct connect technologies. They all allow us to remote into a desktop, see the desktop from a distance, and work on it. That's great. But they all require a direct connection between our machine and the machine we're talking to. Of course, we can create brokers. We can do it over VPN. We can do lots of things for security. We can do lots of things for access under, um, you know, disparate conditions. Uh, you may notice that um, some people use uh, uh, software-defined networking like Zero Tier uh, to allow them to be kind of mobile and, and access those kinds of things from anywhere uh, while still maintaining good security. There's ways to make them work, and I don't want to belittle them. They're great technologies, but they're designed around a LAN-based architecture or a high-performance remote desktop use architecture, right? They have, they have great places, but in a modern world where we are often working outside of the LAN, whether we're in a LANless environment, see my videos on LANless, or we're simply not on the LAN at the time that we're working because we work from home, we're in a hotel, we're traveling, whatever, we want something that's a little bit different. And these remote access technologies, which don't really have a title at this time, like there's no industry accepted term that I'm aware of that refers to all these in general, um, these allow you to work from anywhere, and they do so because they have a hosted component. Now, in the case of someone like ConnectWise, that is a cloud component that you're connecting to. Team Viewer, same thing. Uh, in the case of something like Mesh Central, um, they may someday have a hosted component of their own, but right now it is something that you would host your own. Same with Screen Connect, quite often uh, you host your own. They're, they're changing that model, but it still exists in that way. So. The nice thing about these types of technologies is that you have a central server or group of servers somewhere that you can access from anywhere or you can control the access to it, right? You have a point of access and that's a really useful thing when we're working on uh, security, right? We have a single point of securing our access to different things. So if you need to cut someone off because they've left the company, you have a security breach, you have a, you have a choke point that you can work with. It's uh, similar to working with a firewall or with a jump box or a proxy. And in some ways, it is kind of a jump rocks, and it is kind of a proxy. So it really fits into those roles. And we're talking about graphical user interfaces in these cases, or mostly, right? You could do the same thing with like SSH, but if you're going to work with SSH through something like this, a jump box is so practical that it kind of negates the need for something like this, um, simply because they, they fit the same role, but in a different way. The... Uh, neat thing about these technologies is that because you have this hosted server, you can have any number of clients anywhere, and as long as they can reach the internet, they can talk to that central server and connect by reaching out to it. You don't have to have ports open into those servers or into those desktops or laptops or whatever. They simply need to be able to reach out, and this has two big advantages. One is security. You don't have to open ports everywhere pointed to all these machines. That would be very risky. The second is that you don't need to have them in a, a static environment that you know how to reach. They can be anywhere. So while the server with a static IP address continues to work either way just fine, the person with the laptop who takes it to a hotel and is suddenly on a completely different network is still able to be reached and supported exactly the same as if they were in the office. Or in a case I had to deal with recently, supporting someone on an airplane while they were in flight. It's easy to do these things because of the way the networking works, because of the brokered connection through the, the hosted proxy. So security and ease of use, really big deals. The product that I really want to uh, spend a little bit of time talking about because I've used it quite a bit recently and I think it's super exciting and it's up and coming is the free open source Mesh Central. Uh, I've been using this 
every day for the last several months. Uh, there's certainly a lot of things about it that are not as production ready as some of its competitors, but what's really good about it is it's completely free. Of course, you'd have to host it yourself if you're going to uh, not use a hosted version. It has to be hosted somewhere, so there is cost involved, but you may easily have the capacity to just simply put it on your existing infrastructure. Um, but because it's completely free and it's the first enterprise product of this category to exist that's open source and free, the opportunity has changed and that's why I want to talk about it today. Previously, this would be a very expensive set of technologies under normal conditions. You may be able to afford it for a single tech, but having it for a team or a company or just a normal business was often a bit much considering things like RDP and VNC and whatever were free and you simply had to figure out how to live with their limitations. But now because Mesh Central is completely free and open source, we have access to it to whether it's a company that's simply budget constrained or a company that didn't want to couldn't justify spending the money on another approach or you're a company that's really passionate about using open source technologies all of those barriers have been knocked down and now we have this really great tool that anybody can go out and use just for the effort of setting it up they also have had really great online support uh, new features are coming out all the time uh, really excited about where they are today and where they're going in the future and the pace at which they're getting there. I've seen no product in recent times that is being developed as quickly and steadily as Mesh Central. And it really covers the majority of the bases that people need, whether it's uh, remote access to Windows, remote access to Linux, remote access to Mac, um, you know, need a relatively complex security model with different people in different groups, uh, with different levels of access. Uh, it's just a really cool tool that you can use. And of course, it's worth mentioning with all of these technologies, uh, you can host them someplace public so you can access from absolutely anywhere. You can also, also host them inside your LAN. If you have policies that say you have to be uh, hosted inside a, a, a dedicated LAN and you can't go to cloud hosting or, or anything like that, that's fine. They still work that way. They're going to be more limited, but you're still able to use those technologies uh, 